I hope you've listened tonight and heard my niece, Beijing Rogers. She's <laughs> full of fire. This lady is on fire. <laughs> she has a love for her country, a love for the world, love for the marginalized. She's been around the world and she has many offers to do traditional things, I'm sure in America, here and other places, but she really just wants to help young people. And you know, fellow Baham, it's not, it's not easy to find those spaces for her. But one thing about Beijing, she doesn't stop. I sit with her some nights and listen to her. And after I get tired, I say, well, let's meet another night. And, uh, but she just keeps on going. And God bless you, Beijing. But as we come to the end of the show, what would you like to say to some people who are listening tonight? Because some people may be discouraged, some young people. Uh, they don't feel this love in their home. They, there's no father present. Maybe mom and dad are fighting. And they just feel, you know, they don't have the right look for social media. They don't have the right kind of connections. Uh, what would you like to say to them um, from your heart? Well, I hope you listen to everything prior. But, <laughs> but um, you know, when I'm asked this question, I always say the first thing that comes to mind. Um, and the first thing that came to mind is you are not alone. You are not alone in this life experience. I wish I can come find you <laughs> <laughs> and just bring you along this journey with me to help you in any way. But if you do want to reach out, I guess you can find me on Instagram. Uh, my name is Beijing, like China, B-E-I-J-I-N-G dot R-O-D-G-E-R-S. Send me a message and um, I will definitely get to you. But I just want you to know that you are not alone. There are persons in this world who cares for you, who loves you, and he wants to see you win. Don't give up. And suppose there's a young person who says, Beijing is okay with you. You're a pretty girl. You go around the world. You've got enthusiasm. You can talk. People listen to you. But I am not like you. So what would you say to that kind of person? They can't. Thank they can't. goodness you're not like me. <laughs> I'm annoying. <laughs> oh, gosh. I probably, if I met another me, I'd be like, bye. You know, um. It's, you know, it's not, it's not about that. It's, 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 it's all about, you know, finding worth, you know, um, within yourself. And uh, that I personally believe that only comes from, you know, having a intimate, true relationship with Christ because he can change your life. Mm. He can change your life, the way you see yourself, the way you view your future, your everyday decisions, your everything. I mean, he, he can change all of that, but it, it, takes, it takes a choice. It takes a decision made only by you. No matter what your parents or grandparents uh, may have fed you, fed you, it's a decision only made by you that you can make in your heart mm. if you want to accept Christ mm. as your Lord and Savior and just be your best friend. Mm. If Christ is your best friend, you'll start to see the difference. I promise you, you'll start to see the difference. You know, Beijing, something's happening in me as I talk with you. Mm. When I was growing up, I had to work hard on the Saturdays in my father's shop. But on a Friday afternoon, he would let me after school. I was placed on Canaan Lane and Hawkins Sill. I was only about 11. But I have, I'll have little children's meetings. The kids were three and four. We'll sing little songs. And we'll do little flannel graph Bible lessons. You know, the other day, it was two murders in Camp Road. And I went mm. to Camp Road. I usually visit the site of murders, especially if they're connected to my family. Yeah. And I went to Camp Road with my team, and uh, the place where I met the ladies' children, the mother was killed, and the older brother. And then right next door was a lady who came to me and said, Dr. Allen, I know you, you know. I said, you know me? 
said, you know, I used to come to your children's meeting on Hawkins Hill when I was three years old. Wow. And it dawned upon me, Beijing, that the little children's meeting I had when I was 10 and 11, Hawkins Hill. I'm now doing the family at Camp Road and prison and everything else like it that. So much but it's the same sense. thing. Yeah. And so when she said, I was with you at three years old in Hawkins Hill, and I'm with you now at the family in Camp Road, I just said the dots connected. And I realized, OK, Lord, let me finish my life doing this. I started, started doing this it, before medicine, before psychiatry, yep. and I'm doing it afterwards. So. I just want to encourage you because your genes come from our family, W.W. Allen, many others, NGM Major, Long Island. And um, don't get discouraged. Thank you. Don't get discouraged. It looks like there's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. I love you going to India. India's a, a continent to be watched. I think there's a lot of hope in India. Yeah. And uh, I'm so glad they love you down there. <laughs> you have a little Indian look yourselves, and I hope more would come here. But I think India has a lot of promise in the world. And yeah. so keep that Indian connection going because my feeling is that India is going to rise very fast. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to rise very fast. Uh, they have the technology. They have the mathematical brain and know-how. They're hard workers. Yeah. They're committed. And in my time of tra traveling around the world, they've been some of my best committed friends. And I, I trust them and believe in them. So yeah. and they're good for the Bahamas. I love my and Indian friends. Yes. Yeah, so I just want to encourage you. That's why I don't say much to you, but I like sitting at night <laughs> listening to you. And um, but I just thank you for your enthusiasm, your charisma. But you know, that, that ain't just come to you. It's been your family a long time. Yeah, we've heard of Perry Christie. Yeah. <laughs> He's same thing. <laughs> Perry could catch a fire too. Yeah. You know, and um, yeah. Ed Allen, Rex Majors, all the family. And so. Yeah. You're just a piece of the old family cloth, and yeah. God bless you, and Thank don't you. you give up. You don't have to follow the trend, even if you had great jobs and go to anywhere you want in America, but you do what you're called to do. Yeah. That's what life's all about. Mm. You win some, you lose a lot, but guess what? When you do the right thing, the right thing is what? The right thing. The right thing. Magna is veritas. It's semper et prime valley bit. Great is the truth, and it will always prevail. Hmm. Beijing, don't give up. Thank you, Uncle David. And thank you for having me here. That was so much fun. <laughs> thank I you. loved it. And good night. <laughs>